Welcome back to Talking Dragon Age, the show where I talk about Dragon Age. Today, we're looking into the origin of the Blight. The Blight is something I've wanted to talk about since I started this show, but I found that it's way too big a topic to cover all at once because it connects to so many other things. But then, I thought I could use that to my advantage. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to start here with its origin, and then I can move on to the Grey Wardens, future games, the Darkspawn, and so on. This way, I can eventually talk about everything without having a three-hour long video trying to explain each individual thing that relates to it. So, to start off, I think the best way to trace the Blight to its source would be to try to work backwards. We know that the first Blight occurred once the Seven Magisters entered the Black City, which we know was tainted before they got there. But does that mean that's where it started? Well, maybe. But in this video here, I explain why I think the Black City is actually the elven metropolis of Arlathan. Whether or not that is the case, it does seem very likely that the Blight was, at the very least, in Elvenon before the Veil was created. And here's why. First of all, the Black City is always in the Fade. So where was it before the Veil was drawn? What would have stopped it from spreading throughout the world? Or what would have stopped people from going there? Secondly, why does it take on the form of a city? complete with structures. Why can it be seen from anywhere in the Fade? Even if the Blight somehow sustains its image, it would only affect something physical, which implies that the city is. Third, Solus. The Blight is not something one smugly outsmarts. I think he would know, for it appears that he tried. You didn't do it to be right. You did it to save them. Solus, what is Cole talking about? A mistake. One of many made by a much younger elf who was certain he knew everything. Now, I don't know if that quote is directly related, but the point here is that Solus admits to having made many mistakes in his past. Mistakes born of ignorance. And lastly, Andruel, the elven goddess of the hunt, or sacrifice, as Solus suggests. A codex found in the Temple of Mithal has some interesting things to say. Andrew began to hunt in the Void. Notice that Void is capitalized here. Each time she returned, she suffered periods of madness that lasted longer and longer each time. She put on armor made of the Void, which caused her true face to be forgotten. She crafted weapons of darkness and plague consumed her lands. Starting to sound a little familiar, isn't it? Now, let's compound that with the Codex entry for the Empty Ones. The Empty Ones grew to believe that the Blight was the tool by which the Maker would end all of creation. They preached that it came from the Void, a place of nothing, and that returning to the Void was something to be celebrated, because it meant an end to all pain and all suffering. Well, taken all together, I think this is enough to say with confidence that the Blight came from the Void. This brings us to the real question. What is the Void? Well, I'm not sure I have a good answer for you. In fact, I was going to try to answer that right here, but now I think that's worth its own video. So, uh, until then, I guess I'm ending the video here. But before I do, I'm sure some of you are wondering about Red Lyrium and how that relates. Well, I have to save that for the Titans. You see now why I had to make this video first. This, this would be way too long if I tried to fit in everything. So, that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, to la nadas. Thank you.